Does your computer perform poorly in 3D applications and games? Is your NVIDIA GPU usage low? Today, we will explore a fix for it, which involves modifying the NVIDIA power management mode and the NVIDIA control panel. This fix can increase the GPU usage or force the laptop to use the dedicated GPU most of the time. To get to the power management option in the NVIDIA control panel, you need to Right-click on your desktop, select NVIDIA control panel from the menu. Select Manage 3D settings from NVIDIA control panel. Finally, go to the Global Settings tab. There are many options to choose from, but not all of them may be available to you, depending on the GPU or laptop model. The choices you need to focus on are Optimal power, when your PC is idle, and the image on the screen is static, the GPU will not render new frames. Instead, it reuses frames rendered in the frame buffer. In theory, this should reduce power without affecting performance. This option is all about improving idle power. Adaptive power, the graphics driver automatically determines the proper performance state based on GPU usage. It's a bit vague in specifics, but technically it can control voltage, GPU frequency, and memory frequency as well. It should automatically strike a balance between using optimal power in idle states and maximum performance in heavy 3D loads. Prefer maximum performance, this one does as it says. It maintains the card at its maximum performance state no matter what, even in idle. As a result, the video card will run at higher idle wattage and heat, just sitting there doing nothing. Our test system is a Lenovo Legion 15 gaming laptop. We will now investigate the GPU temperature, GPU clock frequency and game performance on various power management modes. Here are some of the games we've tested.
In Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, we've seen a slight increase in GPU clock frequency and GPU wattage on the adaptive and max performance settings. The same thing happens in Rainbow Six Siege while on adaptive and max performance. The maximum FPS on these modes was with 4 frames higher than on the optimal power scenario. As we can see from our tests, there is no power mode option that can heavily influence our system performance, but that does not mean it won't work for your machine or the application you are using. A higher end GPU might be more balanced power wise, for better battery life or thermals, so this option can bypass the default power management for the system. In theory, this should work better when your hardware is not power limited, or the default option, optimal power is more focused on power saving. We've managed to test it on a PC running Counter-Strike 1.6 with no FPS limit on a Ryzen 7 2700X with a GTX 1060. Changing the power management mode from optimal to prefer max performance increased the GPU usage by 10% and FPS by 200 FPS. So, older uncapped games that don't require too much GPU power can benefit from this. Besides power management, there are two more NVIDIA control panel options you might consider to increase FPS. One of them is the max frame rate option. Switching it off might increase FPS in some games and applications. The other one is the OpenGL rendering GPU setting, which should be set to the NVIDIA GPU. Again, this option might help in certain OpenGL games. If your GPU is always on 90 to 100% usage, you should not see any improvements. Lowering game details might reduce the usage percentage, which means it might also lower the power usage, and having unused power means that the fix can work. We've seen this in Valorant, where players noticed a slight FPS difference between low and high settings. Going from optimal to prefer max performance fixed the problem, and the game got an extra 100 FPS on specific systems.